If there's one thing we've learned about business and life, it's that people are the X Factor. They constantly surprise us, both in amazing ways and not so much. We're Ben and Sia, and welcome to the Gnaw on This Business Bites podcast. This show is all about real life things we all deal with every day, how they relate to business, and how to make some sense out of our daily chaos. Welcome to the show. And welcome back to another episode of Gnaw on This Business Bites. I'm Ben, and this is Sia. And I got a question for you. Is it a goal or is it a dream? You know, we all have dreams. We all have these wonderful things we'd love to have happen. Be a millionaire by the time we're 30. We want to make the 30 under 30 list. We want we want to, you know, have a million dollar wedding. We want to, you know, go to Harvard. You name the dream. We all have it. You know, for me, it's it's you know, parach- parachuting from 15,000 feet. Okay, they're nice dreams, but are they goals? Are you doing what it's going to take to get you there? Are these just fantasies? Are these just words that you're putting up there and you have absolutely no idea how you're ever going to get there? Or is there a goal? Is there a strategy? And is there an articulated purpose, how you're going to get from where you are to where you want to be? And most of us live in the world of dreams. You know, we, 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 we dream we're going to make quota this month. We dream, you know, that, that our boss, our boss is going to leave us alone. We dream that we're going to be able to spend the rest of our lives working from home, but we're not doing what it takes to put ourselves in a position where we can turn that dream into a goal and turn it into reality. So Sia, let's gnaw on this. (laughs) <laughs> you just gave me like three different songs in that opener, sir. Uh, but I do want to mention this one song. It's called, actually, Is It a Dream? And it's by a band called The Damned. Mm-hmm. And for anyone that wants to check it out, that's my recommend. Oh, my God. I think I'm going to make it a daily thing now. Poor Ben. There's going to be a song I'm going to recommend. Hey, you know what? I'm, I'm getting all sorts of new songs that I get to listen to. So how bad can this be? It's a win-win, right? It's exactly. my goal. It's my goal to make everyone love. 80s punk so here we go uh yeah i dream of a world where people understand punk roots are just it's rooted in desire for change damn it janet not just pure anarchy for anarchy's sake Mm -hmm. there was something going on you know that someone dreamt rage against the machine baby oh yes yes despite all my rage i'm still but a rat in a cage and by the way i did know i changed up the word smashing pumpkins don't worry but here's the deal I think dreams are wonderful things. It's like a wish fulfillment. It's something where like, hey, look, I thought I wanted to go to space as a kid, right? And then when you actually see what it actually requires, like to be an astronaut, it is- I need is, to do math? I need, I need to, to do- what? Like, yeah. Okay. At one point I wanted to, to go into forensic pathology back in the uh-huh. day. Okay. And let me tell you, then I realized I'm like, wait, what? I got to- I got to school to school for how long? I got to, I got to, I got to do what to that body? Like what? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like Mm -hmm. it is okay to dream. I think dream away to me. I'm living my dream, right? Like launching this business, Brilliant Bee Media has just been a freaking rock and roll ride. And I got to tell you, I'm all for it. It has been a dream come true that I get to do this for a living and get paid for it. But the goal of it was the execution. Exactly. How did I make that happen? Right. How do I make being a content creator and people pay me to do what, as someone actually told me the other day, well, my five year old could do this. Why would I want to pay you? I'm like, you're right. <laughs> but what I've done though is built a model in a way where it's, I know I'm not selling that I produce content for clients and I, you know, do post production editing and all that stuff. No. We know what that is. What I am actually, my services are, is giving time back to people. Mm -hmm. I am offloading the work it takes to create content on a daily basis, weekly basis, whatever have you, so you don't have to. I, my service is convenience. And that is how I was able to make my dream actually executable by goals is what I found a way to monetize something I've always wanted to do. And yes, you're right. It has to have some kind of action. 
Otherwise, it's just a dream. And somebody else's dream was they want an extra three hours in their day. And their extra three hours in their day means that they call Sia up. And Sia takes care of the stuff that they just don't want to do. They they know they need content. They know they need social media posts. They know they need video or audio or whatever they need to do to be able to do things. But they don't have the time in their busy day to do this. And they go, God, it'd be really nice if I had another three hours of my day to myself. Wait a second. I can pay somebody to, to offload this for me? And I can actually take this time and do the other things that I want to do? That's turning a dream into a goal. Yes. You know, yes, there's a way of doing it. I may not do it myself. I may be offloading this. I may be tra you know, trading cash for services. But that's a way of turning that dream into reality by sitting there going, how do I get this done? Yes. How do I sit there and say, all right, I want to, you know, I want to host this incredible dinner party, blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm a lousy cook. Hang on a second. I just want to sit there and entertain and, and and have all my friends over and have a great time. I don't want a grocery shop. I don't want to cook. I don't want to clean up. I don't want to have to clean up the house the next day. I can hire people to do all that. Mm -hmm. And I can enjoy myself and I can enjoy my friends instead of spending all the time in the kitchen, you know, warming stuff up while they're having a good time out in the living room. I'm yeah. missing the entire conversation. So it's a matter of sitting there going, my dream is to host these really cool dinner parties. But how do I do this in a way where I actually get to be the host and be to have the fun instead of actually being the worker bee that's sitting there having to make sure everybody's drinks are filled and the, and the, and the orders are hot and the dishes got done? <laughs> you know, just reminded me of. <laughs> so I've hosted family gatherings for you know 20 or 15 yeah. years re realistically speaking and i my dream was to always have a wonderful family gathering and you know everyone flies in out of town we all get this slumber party in my house which by the way at its peak i think we had like 25 people staying in my house wow. for a week and that was my dream and then all of a sudden i execute on that dream and let me tell you holy crap on a cracker uh yeah i understand sometimes our dreams isn't aren't exactly what we thought they'd be as sometimes well. dreams turn into nightmares very quickly but here's the funnier part so i have recently had to put my foot down because my sanity was just i was losing it and uh i was like i can't host anymore you guys like you guys need to figure out another way to do this and um my family did figure out a way and no feelings were hurt. I mean, everyone understands. I mean, they were very gracious about it, yeah. but then I realized why I liked hosting. I didn't want to talk to them half the time. Half the people I like, I love you, but like for about 30 minutes at a time, like max. So maybe, maybe, maybe your dreams do come back to reality and they are your dreams again. I don't know. It's just, you just made me think of my family and how much I love them. Like I really do. I just can't be around them for a lengthy amount of time. So, and, and it's a matter of understanding, defining the dream, and how do you turn the dream into a goal in such a way that's going to be executable? Yeah. You know how whether it's a personal goal, whether it's a business goal. Yes. To sit there and say, okay, what do I need to do to be able to make this work, and be able to sit there and say, okay, what are we trying to achieve in the end? In the end, we're trying to achieve harmony. We're trying to achieve, you know, greatness. We're trying to, you know, do something that we can't do without without doing X, Y, and Z. Okay, that's what we're trying to do. Now, how do we get there? Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's not on a lick and a prayer and a hope and a promise. It's okay. There's executable steps that need to go along the way. There's things that you need to think of. What could go right? What could go wrong? Who are the people that we need to get involved? Maybe, it, you know, in your particular case, it turns into a potluck. Hey, listen, everybody bring a dish. Say, yeah. these 12 people are bringing, you know, maybe two people are people an appetizer. You know, two people are bringing a soup. Great. We have enough. We have enough for everybody. Great. Now I'm not cooking for 25 people. But I, we still get to enjoy each other and we get to sample all different types of food. Everybody brings their, their favorite dish. It's a matter of being creative and figuring out how do we make this happen to be able to make it as stress-free and, and enjoyable 
for everybody along the way. And whether it's a personal experience or whether it's a business experience, dreams are, oh, let's just do this. Yeah. And not not think about how to get there and how, what the steps are and what the ramifications could be. A goal is let's go over there. I want to do this. Yep. And we need to make sure that this, 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 this are done along the way to make sure that we get to where we want to be. <laughs> okay. First off, you, you made me start singing living on the prayer in my head. <laughs> Just saying. I had to say it. Sorry. Secondly. Gotta love if, me some Bon Jovi. It, <laughs> Oh, I have a, oh, okay. I got to tell you a story about that. So I don't really listen to that kind of eighties, like music. It's not in that hair metal, whatever genre it wasn't my thing. But, uh, so I got tickets to Bon Jovi. Okay. When I worked at HP back in the day, they had sweets and, uh, so the, a VP backed out. And so the person said, Hey, do you want these tickets? And I'm like, hell yeah. Not knowing who they were really. I mean, kind of knew, but so I, I was talking to my boyfriend. I go, Hey, I got tickets to Bon Jovi. And he looks at me, he goes, name one song and i'm like pour some sugar on me and he's like have fun with that and so he goes why don't you go tell all your clients that that's where you're taking them to so i did that mean person and then that's when i confused a whole hell of a lot of people who had tickets to bon jovi but whatever um so yeah no um i totally add that sorry i just had to share that sorry so uh where were we at <laughs> God knows where your brain was going with it. You know, but Whoosh. Just, oh. you know, sometimes I just let you go. You know what? I was in a dream right there. Okay. There you go. I was going about back. to say, you just going you just back. went to you just went to Dreamland. I you did. know, just went to 80s, 80s hair metal dream band, you know. Back you know. off, people. Okay, here's why I'm gonna say this before I forget is this if you have a dream about something, a goal of a dream. Okay. Like I want to, um, lose 20 pounds, right? Unless you're taking daily steps that exactly. whatever that no, no, I get it. We got to get tasks and all that and organize it. But if you actually look at all the tasks that you do, are they actually going to get you where you need to go? So when you intentionally think that way, so for me, I want to grow my business. I want to be a billion dollar business by, you know, six months from now, very reasonable numbers. I now have to calculate for myself, right? Okay. In six months time, if I'm talking to someone and I'm not making a connection where it's going to net me revenue, then I just cost myself that. So let's say for example, a million dollars a day, did I quote sell a million dollars worth of stuff to help me achieve my goal? Right. And I think we have to think of it that way. If you want a dream to be your goal, that's the way you gotta you gotta go for it like that. Well, you gotta goal, think of it analytically. Goals are made out of micro goals. Yes. Yeah, goals are made out of micro goals. And we also need to realize it says this is where we want to go. And there's a all of a sudden there's a wall in front of us, and that wall is 15 feet high, three thousand feet wide, and 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 goes 10 feet into the ground. Yeah. Okay. The question is, where do you find the ladder? Where do you find the where do you find the uh, the backhoe to dig yourself underneath it? You know how long is it going to take me to run left? How long is it going to take me to run run right? You know we need to sit there and say we came with a plan, and all of a sudden we got a hit in the face. What do we do now? And we need to be able to sit there and say if if all we have is a dream, we're going to be flat in our tracks. If we have a goal, we can sit there and say okay that plan didn't work. Now we're into plan B, C, D, E, and F. And if we start thinking that way, we'll always reach our goal because we're looking at the end point and how we get there isn't as important as the goal itself. Ding, so, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> so let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. I'm Ben. And I'm Sia. I'm really distracting Ben today. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and let's nod on this. See you next time. Hey, 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 thanks for listening to another episode of Not On This, Business Bites. If you liked what you heard, we most humbly ask that you like, share, and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to communicate more effectively within your organization, contact Ben at yourbrandmarketing.com or me at brilliantbeammedia.com. 
We can help you build your community, brand awareness, and personality through digital content and podcasting. We cannot wait to hear from you. So see you next week for another episode of Not On This, Business Fights. 